Hey guys, let's talk about your reading summaries you'll be doing each week here in Coastal Management. Reading summary um, can be um, from virtually anything that we cover, although it has to be from materials in the e-reserve section, not some of our books, for example, not chapters of the William Langawishu book. You guys are going to be summarizing research papers. There's a whole range of scientific papers, but this is really the stuff that I'd like you guys to focus on. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be picking one of these papers and summarizing one of these papers. Again, your choice as to which one. You're going to be generating a reading summary. Now, this is what I mean by a reading summary. It's going to be brief, just take you a few minutes. It's going to be one page. This to the right here is a great example of what I hope to see you guys generate. Let's have a look at this. We have our name, class, week, all that kind of stuff. The week is the, and, and the date refers to when it is due, not when you actually um, maybe did it. Maybe you do it a couple days early, for example. These are always due on the Monday of that particular week of class. This reading summary has the title of the paper, has the author, then it, there's a carriage return, and it has the central hypothesis, or in some cases it might not be exactly a hypothesis. In that case, it would be a central uh, thesis. And so this says, you know, this is boiling it down to one sentence in terms of what the purpose of the paper was. Next, we go into uh, one or two or three paragraphs. Most commonly, you guys are probably going to give me a two paragraph summary. The first paragraph here is a factual summary of what happened in the paper, what was the experiment or the description of the study, what have you. Then the second half is going to be your interpretation of those facts, your interpretation of that paper. What did you like? What didn't you like? What worked? What did it inspire you to think about as you read that, particularly in the context of the other things we're doing here in class? Then at the very end, you'll notice down here, there's a couple just bullet points. I'd like you to give me two or three, uh, they don't have to be complete sentences, but two or three bullet points um, as to some aspect of the paper you liked or you thought was well done, and then two or three aspects of the paper that um, you didn't particularly like or um, could have easily been improved upon, that kind of thing. These can be both uh, conceptual, these can be perhaps um, mechanistic. The graphs might have been very difficult to read or um, whatever. So again, in general, a great reading summary is going to have this one sentence uh, central hypothesis. We're going to hit the main key points of the paper, factual points of the paper, provide some personal interpretation um, and, and or insight taken away, and then give, give us a few uh, uh, good and bad bullet points. It'd be great if you could do these for every single paper that we read. It's a wonderful exercise for you guys to get in the habit of doing, but you only need to submit one per week. There's a whole range of examples of reading summaries I've seen you guys turn in. So here's an example of one. This one is fairly well written. Um, it, it gets a, across um, some of the key stuff. It gets across some of the summary, etc. But it's not done. Um, the title isn't spelled out. Um, the hypothesis isn't clearly set aside to be easily scannable, etc. So this is an okay summary, but it's only partial, and that the person didn't follow the rules and the guidelines. And so good start, but incomplete. Here's another example of another reading summary. This one is what we'd call a pretty poor summary. So um, yes, there is a hypothesis here, right? You can see that hypothesis right here. And we have the title, and we have the date, and this and that. Um, but uh, not particularly detailed, right? Um, all kinds of spelling errors and, and grammatical um, errors. And it's very short, not very complete. So this would, would be characterized as a poor, um, not a very uh, well done reading summary. Don't submit something like this. Here's another example of the same kind of thing. Again, this is, let's count it up. This is uh, so here's our hypothesis that's buried in the first line of text and is not succinct, is not um, tight. Um, so we have one sentence there, 
two sentences, three sentences, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight sentences um, can give me a bit more, right? That, that, that's basically one paragraph. I want at least two paragraphs here, separate out in the, separating out the factual part, separating out the inspiration or the takeaway part. And again, no bullets or anything like that. No, no person's name, etc. The other thing is with all the work that you do in this class or any of your classes, your reading summary must be professional. So this is one that was turned in um, uh, to me. And the student said, oh, sorry, my printer was messed up. Sorry. And, and they gave it to me. Not acceptable. I will not accept this. This will get a zero points. This will be considered a missed assignment. You must always be professional. You need to get um, this notion of submitting partial things halfway done is, is not acceptable. You're not allowed to submit messed up grammar. You're not allowed to submit poor spelling. Um, you're not allowed to submit something that is physically unacceptable and physically not professional. Um, and then we get into the issue of things that maybe you guys tried, but you just didn't know how. If something is amiss or you don't know how, come talk to me. This is a great example where the student just didn't, they just didn't know how to make this uh, HYP um, zero subscript, like the not subscript. Um, it's a very easy thing to do in Word. It takes about half a second. If you have a formatting issue, if you're not sure how to make something be superscript, subscript, um, um, italicize, whatever, come talk to me and let's figure it out. Let's not just submit something as um, incorrectly done. And then another thing is, you know, I'm, I understand uh, how you guys try to hide work, right? That when you've run out of time, you just bang something out. I get it, right? I, I was an undergraduate too one day, a um, long time ago, but I was. Um, Right, you can just take a glance at this. This is this is a good amount of work, right? This person's put a, a good amount of effort into this. This someone has tried to hide it by doing double spacing, making the margins be really wide, trying to squeeze out a couple sentences to make it look big. Don't do that, right? Put the time in. It doesn't take very long. Put the time in and generate a great reading summary. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing your guys' reading summaries and to um, getting you to get in the routine of doing weekly writing samples.